Once upon heaps of ages ago, in legendary Polynesia, in the village of Matavai Safune Savai Samoa, lived a beautiful young woman named Sina. Sina was so beautiful that tales of her beauty spread like wildfire throughout Samoa and beyond. I've seen Sina's exceptional beauty firsthand, and our sources say she's very happy being single. Good luck to whoever manages to win her over. Meanwhile, across the Pacific Ocean, on the magical island of Fiji, there lived a man who believed Sina was his destiny. Because it's true. Introducing the ruler of the Fiji Islands, the first of his name, Tuifiti, the king of Fiji. Wait, you left that handsome. Tuifiti, <laughs> the handsome king of Fiji. Oh, you're making me blush. And you made me say that. Look, I'd love to stay and chat, but in Samoa, there resides a maiden waiting for me. And with that, Tuifiti, the handsome king of Fiji, transformed himself into a... a bunny? I mean, a polar bear. Really? Good luck surviving in the Pacific. Yeah, not sure an ant is a better option. Oh, come on, he's still transforming? You're actually done now? Oh, I was trying to give you a thumbs up, but I have no thumbs. So off King Tuifiti, the handsome eel, swam all the way to Samoa to woo Sina's heart. After days of spying on Sina, King Tuifiti made his home in a lagoon, one that Sina and her mother would visit every day to collect water. OMG, it's an eel, so cute. I've always wanted an eel for a pet. Mum, can I? I promise I'll look after it. Well, you better, because I don't want anything to do with it. Here. As soon as Sina got home, she placed the bowl on her bedside table and fell asleep. But she awoke moments later to find that Tuifiti had already outgrown the bowl. Sina had no other choice but to move the eel to the village bathing pool. As time passed, the eel grew bigger and became more and more demanding of Sina's attention. That's it. Seriously, we're like so done. Sina escaped to bathe in a neighbouring pool to avoid Tuifiti, but he found her and leapt onto her head. I said we're done, leave me alone. But Tuifiti ignored Sina and continued to follow her. So in utter desperation, she jumped onto a va'a and sailed to Apolu to escape. Tired and weary, Sina arrived at Mota'a, where a village funeral was taking place. And he's followed me here, please help me. The men of the village headed out to hunt the eel down and finally Tuifiti was surrounded. He desperately tried to transform back into a king, but his magical abilities failed him. Oh man! The village men wrestled with the slippery Tuifiti until they finally took him down, mortally wounding him. Hey, I think he wants to say something to you. What? Please forgive me for not being honest with you. I am King Tuifiti of Fiji. Say what? Yes, I came all this way to Samoa to ask you to be my wife. And you didn't think to ask me as a human? Yeah, because... Tuifiti became increasingly weaker and Sina's anger turned to pity. Please, forgive me. When I leave this place, I ask that you bury me at your family's valley so that my body will nourish you and that I may kiss you whenever you drink from my fruit. I will. Sina respected King Tuifiti's wishes and almost immediately after burying him, a glorious tree sprouted. It was a coconut tree. Tuifiti went from a king to the very first coconut tree ever. So next time you drink from a coconut, remember, you'll also be kissing an eel. Handsome eel.